Hi, my name is Jake Thaliber. I'm with the Market Product Management Group for Industrial Safety at SICK. This will be a short demonstration of IOLINK and the DTEC-4. So here is my hardware setup. I have the DTEC-4 safety light curtain. I can also show you a connection diagram of how I had this set up and connected to our IOLINK master. I am using a Allen Bradley master, 8 channel master, and we're hooked up to the DTEC on channel 0 here. Now I will show you my Studio 5000 project where we can start seeing some of the data coming from the DTEC over IOLINK. I'm using a Compact Guard Logic system. So in my controller tags, we're going to go through the process data, um, starting with in byte zero. I do have these labeled. This comes directly from the technical documentation that's provided in our uh, sickusa.com website. So going through in byte zero on the process data, I have on bit zero system OSSD active. We can also get um, some signals, status signals for protected field free of hosts or any guests that we have. So if I block the curtain right now, you can see both those bits go low. Going ahead and moving on to in byte one. Here's where we get weak signal strength signals. So the importance there is we can predict maintenance when the curtain needs to be realigned. Some other things we can do is with this signal, we can tell when the lens needs to be cleaned. Moving on to in byte two. Here's where we get some operational status signals like muting active, object in the protected field during muting, muting error, etc. So we can really optimize our process by knowing exactly what's going on in the DTEC. In byte three, so these are just some status uh, bits that we can get, such as the status of the receiver is normal or the state of the uh, senders are normal. We can now get status of each beam. So if I expand these two here, I have them labeled. So this is beam one right here and all the way up to on my DTEC has 12 beams, beam 12. So I have a one for high active on each one of these. So if I go ahead and start blocking them, I'll start on the bottom beam with my hand. Those should go low. And you can see, there I go, I'm moving my hand up. And all the way through the top of the curtain. So this is especially important if we wanna do height detection of an object. Really cool feature here, we can tell the height of an object, say that's moving to a stretch wrapper. Now we can take the data from the DTEC and tell the stretch wrapper how much wrap to use or how high that object needs to be wrapped. So very cool feature there. We can reduce some standard sensors uh, by using the beam data from the DTEC. And then we have output data. So I have it labeled here as well. We only have one byte for output, so that's on byte zero and Doing this, we can control the display of the LED indicator on the top of the DTEC. We can also turn on the laser alignment aid. So using the output data, we can change the LED indicators. So right now I have a green status LED. Let's go ahead and change bit zero. That'll turn the LED off. Changing bit one to high, we get the yellow LED and changing bit two to high. That gets the red LED, so full control of the status LED indicator on top of the DTEC, as well as uh, control of the alignment aid. Let's see if I can display that to you guys. So there we have it, you can see on my hand there, we had the visible laser for easy alignment of the DTEC. I hope you enjoyed the short demonstration of the DTEC-4 connected over IOLINK. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. Again, my name is Jake Thaliber, and I'm with the Industrial Safety Group at SICK. Thanks.